Dr. Reuter, we've talked a little bit about the concept of the pathology report. We've looked at the idea of uh, differentiating between the gradings. But now we're looking at a whole new world where people are talking about change in biology, talking about changes in how we do biopsies. The, uh, with Don Coffey, he talked to me about liquid biopsies. What's going to be the evolution of disease management and identification? Uh, it's a very important and hot topic. Um, the needle biopsy is incredibly informative. Um, however, it is invasive. It is morbid. It is not a pleasant experience for many patients. So ideally, you would want a way to not only identify the presence of cancer, but also estimate risk of that patient's prostate cancer in a non-invasive manner. Um, the liquid biopsy is just that, is a way of leveraging fluids that might or might not contain DNA information or genomic information that would inform us as to the presence and virulence of a tumor without doing a biopsy. You can think of urine, and there are tests that are have been in the market for several years already that can identify the presence of cancer. You can identify semen, for example, in also circulating cells, circulating uh, blood. Uh, for example, there's cell-free DNA that can be also looked at in blood. But this is a work in progress. But clearly, there's a lot of research that is going on to try to, once again, identify and establish the virulence of a tumor by being by non-invasive means and usually is by looking at DNA within fluids such as urine and blood.